to me, please. Approach. My eyes were not deceived, yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah. You see, my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Gratore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal, long prehensile arms, intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap, but he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Gratore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Master, a beast lurks in there. Right, expected as much, cause I... Shh, quiet, before you wake it. Come, I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have... 
tear it a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Leave you to it, then. <clears throat> right. Onward! For honor! Damn it. Should follow the guy. At least I'll be able to tell the fiancé what happened. Should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Mm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I... I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection, and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I vowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. 
The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I should cut down another, more terrible beast. Mm, must have really cold feet. Frozen. I uh, can't say I see it happening, your success. But do what you will, and good luck. My thanks, Master. The fight at your side was an honor. Good news. You're betrothed. Is my betrothed no more. What? He was just here, just departed. Having made a new vow, this time to fetch me a striped horse from Zeracania. Well, at least he chose something he stands to accomplish on his own. Quite the trek, though. Precisely. I told him I require no more proof. Let us make haste to the temple. He began hemming and whoring, babbling about honor and whatnot. Ugh. Tell me, Master Witcher, are all men swine? Not all. A few exceptions out there. Oh, perhaps in your distant Rivia. But what care have you for my heart's woes? Your reward, as I vowed. And advice, should you ever find yourself a Lady Witcher. Be truthful with her to save the world some grief.